morning to folks in U.S. and I do believe we might have some friends joining uh, from India. So good evening. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much sure everyone had a good Thanksgiving, had some turkey or whatever you guys have eaten, have lost some good calories while shopping and some decent amount of money also. So having said that, let's 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 go ahead and start with our topic of first topic of the day: attrition. What is attrition? I'm going to read the exact definition that I got from Wiki. Attrition is the gradual reduction of workforce as employees leave or retire. This is usually measured by what is called the attrition rate. Most employers want a low attrition rate because it means employees are satisfied and they don't have a, to train new people. So if if we go with with the actual definition, what's what Wiki says, and and there are multiple places which kinds of maps maps to the similar kind of uh, uh, information. So it, it says that there is which 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 says that you have there is a gradual reduction of your workforce, most mostly due to people retiring, and then in in some cases wherein. Uh, there would be some career aspirations, family moving to different places and all those kinds of. So, but but if you see the current scenario, it is not a gradual reduction anymore. It, it is not. A, 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 it's, it's something which is now being very focused, very much discussed. Uh, uh, it's a specific metric that each organization now tracks to showcase how much is their attrition rate what kind of uh, employee retention they are having which which kind of shows how good they as an organization they are so how why this so much of focus on 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 this this attrition whenever you go whenever when you have a group of it people to sitting the most common topic is attrition so what exactly is attrition what causes this so let's let, let's focus some 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 of the reasons why uh, what what is this attrition caused? Uh, so the the if you if you see, I mean, there are few major causes which causes attrition. One one is where no one has control over is, is a hostile or forced attrition, wherein and an organization takes over another, and then there are some some decisions that are made where typically the acquirer let go a lot of workforce from the acquired uh, organization and then there are uh, scenarios wherein um, there are so-called uh, implementation challenges implementation issues what we in our terminology is what we call production deployment issues and all wherein there are certain things or business goals or objectives that as an organization or as a team you fail to meet or achieve and then some of our so-called smart leadership who has to represent or who actually says they have the accountability rather than they letting them uh, or they finding the right solution they put it on the lower teams the members and then they ask them they let them go that is also a kind of a force attrition where you are kind of fired or laid off for some of the business goal which as a team uh, you fail to achieve but then there are some uh, other uh, there are other top, uh, reasons of uh, which causes attrition um there are career growth that's typically a big mantra where we say we, we are looking for a good career opportunities but ideally it is basically people looking for an on site opportunity or a bigger pay package there is nothing as kind of a technical enhancement or technical skill set growth that fuels into that career opportunities it's plain greed that causes a, a set of uh, attrition to happen and then one of the biggest factor that causes attrition is your incompetent leadership if you if you try to categorize or if you try to draw a pie chart unfortunately i'm not prepared that well today but if you try to uh, put a pie chart and go a sampling of 100 odd people who have in throughout your career have moved around you would say at least 50 to 60 percent of the attrition that has occurred is basically either due to your immediate boss or due to your uh, incompetent leadership that your organization has so 
how how i mean how does as a group or as as an it organization how do we actually tackle or or manage attrition so i mean attrition as a word provide fuel to two different schools of thoughts one is actually uh, uh, it's a food for talking when i say a food of talk for talking it it's basically as a good masala wherein people can sit and gossip and then 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 there is actually actual school of thought wherein like minded people try to understand wh- what it attrition is what exactly is the root cause and how you can manage the attrition so not going into the gossip part because there is going to be a, a, a and we we are, all of us do a lot of gossips around how what what's actually attrition and but let let's focus on on actually what how we can manage the attrition and how big a problem it is right now and then what what probably could be some uh, way forward to manage this uh, and then build a good success path for an individual as a, as well for an organization so if you if you if you think uh, if you think attrition the immediate counter thing that that comes in in your mind would be retention attrition can only be countered through retention now how are you going to, uh, to uh, be a good retention organization uh, that will kind of reduce your att- attrition metrics the or the before we we talk more about it let, let's I'll, i'll take back uh, i'll take you to a simple scenario i was just uh, watching one of the interviews uh, in the national geographic where they were interviewing a uh, 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 um, major general in in us marines uh, who was getting um, honored Uh, last year for some something so what he showed uh, or what was showed about him what he actually did was that he, he he was part of a troop in afghanistan and and they were taking a, a tribals um, they were holding a tribals meeting and and they, they were ambushed from all different sides what what happened uh, as typically the marines do they they ensure safety of their uh, colleagues first before thinking about themselves so uh, there was a sergeant who got uh, hit by a bullet on his neck so he carried him over his shoulder put him into a medivac and before sending him off he uh, there was the there was the uh, the operator in the medivac whose gopro camera was on uh, and and everything was recorded there's nothing that they took an interview it was a live stream that everyone saw then he put his soldier on on the helicopter and then he just kissed him on his fore, forehead before running back to the line of fire to pull out other colleagues now when you think on these things what actually what 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 did he did he sets up a example that i am creating an environment where there is safe my there is trust and 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 there is commitment so if if you if you think if you bring the same focus into our it organization uh, life right the the easiest way to reduce attrition is to create a safe environment when when there is a safe environment there is a inbuilt trust between the teams there is a inbuilt a um, uh, uh, dependency when one team member can rely on the other then you would reduce some of the immediate bottlenecks uh, you would provide different you would provide a platform wherein each team member can depend upon they know they have a good leader who they can trust upon and 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 that would create an environment or safe environment wherein your team would be motivated to deliver a work more without being pressurized or threatened if you create that kind of environment you are going to definitely reduce some level of attrition how you can what else we can do to 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 focus more on uh, um, on reducing the attrition and create more uh, retention think think something like uh, most of us over here are, are, are parents so what, as a parent what what we try to expect from uh, what we try to do as a being a good parent we try to nurture or educate our kids we try to give them opportunities we try not to um, lay off our kids when when they are making any mistakes uh, and and so if you if you use the same parenting skill 
right and you being a parent over years switch to a, a, a leader in in a real it world scenario if you let if you create again back a, a same kind of environment setup wherein um, say you let your employees nurture their opportunities um, skills you provide the right technical guidance you you provide them opportunities so that they can upskill their talents right this will enable them to learn now if there are issues coming in it doesn't make sense to go ahead if there is a product if it at home there is an issue you don't go and say okay you are laid off to your kid for next 10 days you don't lay off your kid so then why do you if there is a issue in your organization rather than identifying a root cause and 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 splitting the blame across on everybody if there has to be so that everyone suffers a little rather than you pointing it on a specific set of people and they suffer the most if we, if we switch that attitude on putting a blame on one rather than take it it on the team that was everyone has the onus whether it's the it's the developer or whether it's is the executive leadership the ownership on the accountability of a program or, or a, a project is on everyone else. it's just not on one person so create that kind of environment and wherein you let people believe that okay if you make mistakes it's not going to be in the end of the day for you it's a learning path you give them opportunities uh you 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 understand their basic skill sets and then let provide them opportunities to up, up scale to keep learning on a day to day basis provide them guidance if they are having performance issues rather than throwing them out give them opportunity to create venues wherein they can up scale threatening should not be the um um a uh, utility over here um you have to be a little more compassionate try to understand that there there is definitely a, a specific lot of people a small lot which is def, uh, which at the end of the day you cannot fix that has to go off but in general if you create that kind of an environment where there are where you treat people as your colleagues as coworkers to provide the right platform right safety measures right support and confidence that itself will create a team which is ready for failures and which can commit to you uh, to you as an organization that okay they can strive more hard and gre- create more business opportunities more success which can add to your numbers this will definitely help in 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 creating um, as i said again a safe environment wherein people will like to definitely stay back it will increase your retention percentage it will go uh, your attrition metrics are going to go down uh, and 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 you would as an organization you would see success coming up uh, one program one project after the another and 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 you would be able to compete in the market rather than um uh, rather than just every now then you're letting go a set of people and then onboarding a new set of uh, people and you have to go the, the reinvent the wheel training them up rather than make your existing employee pool strengthen them with all the right information and make them uh, or enable them to make the right decisions so that the, as an organization to if you have to tackle attrition um, uh, I, i think creating good leaders is one of the key factor that that has at this is the need of the hour um, the, the organization needs to put or uh, when i say organization it's the executive leadership it's the talent management it's the hr these 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 pool of people has to sit through and they need to understand how we can create good leaders because as i said whether it's an army or or, or, or any armed forces or in actual day to day it lives if if you have good leaders they know how to tie tie the team together they know they have to sacrifice themselves first but rather than making you as uh, making uh, others or the team members be sacrificed if once that kind of motto comes and the team starts believing in in the leaders then then 
all the challenges associated with attrition all the challenges uh, associated with not having the required knowledge pool when uh, to support any kind of a program those would be take, uh, would be taken care of so um i'm um, let me um let me pick up one more thing that i had um, uh, um to share um so right um so again um going back to um uh, the the attrition and 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 the retain the uh, retention part of it right so uh, as i was saying earlier so like who you're creating good leaders is the major major focus right now which the organization needs to take care of they need to create an environment which is called a, a, a probably a safe environment which you said there is a lot of uh, another safe in the devops mode that we talk about but it's not that safe but creating another just a safe platform create the trustworthiness within the teams creating um uh, i would say some kind of uh, um or uh, when we say um the reliability factor has to be there right if if you have that kind of platform in the uh, present i'm i'm pretty much sure uh, the the attrition challenge that that right now is focused and then people like uh, manner or, or other other people who has this kind of a roles or responsibilities where they need to make sure they they getting new business but then to any good business or delivery that has to happen will only depend on what the kind of workforce as an organization you have and 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 and, and that can known and then again it again ties back to how you are treating your current employee base and and being their availability their flexibility to uh, to kind of uh, learn new things to based on whatever commitments the leadership is taking doing to the business or or to the end users right uh, to uh, so um so i i think um i mean just before i can summarize i mean just to us rather than to summarize what what we just spoke um, from the attrition perspective i mean we we just went like what are the different causes of attrition and and how you can split the attrition part back into the uh, to retention and and when we start talk again about retention it, it it's just about how you treat your employees how you uh, if being a what the things that you do as part of a parent if you use the same logic as part when you are with your team um if how you being a good leader what are the good qualities of the good leaders the more organizations put effort time and effort on creating good leaders these two factors combined can help you create more retention but um, retention opportunities creating more appreciation for your and um, from your employees just not by providing a gift bag gift card or something but just having a continuous feedback even if you are doing wrong saying something wrong uh, with example is not bad but just also making sure at the end of the feedback you provide opportunities how you can fix those what are the steps that as as, as a leader or as an organization i'm going to help you so that going forward you can address those mistakes if we start putting all this thought process uh into in, into the, the organization you are going to counter attrition and and your retention rates are going to would, that would be one metrics that uh, in the future you would be incapable of showing it to all the other business partner um up components or or the or your clients that this is not my attrition matrix this is my retention matrix that how much people are staying with my organization um uh, uh, that's all i had uh from the attrition uh, um, and per perspective i know i am not that well prepared with some slides or something uh, but yeah that's all i had thank you